Wow. I did watch the first one, so I know a little about it. Uh, Groot doesn't say much, which is so cute, right? Everybody loves somebody who doesn't talk much, but is adorable. So grab, change your paper out, grab your um, sharp pencil. Let's do this. I um, actually drew this one last night. We were going to draw something else, and I said, no, no, no. That movie came out, so we're going to draw Groot. So Groot is a branch, right? Am I, am I right on that, guys? Is he a branch or a little baby tree or something? So it's always fun to do new things, uh, drawing things, new challenges, new fun. Um, Groot is G-R-O-O-T. So he's from Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, he's a tree. Very good. He's a Groot. <laughs> that is true. That's all the dude knows how to say is I'm a Groot. Oh, that's so funny. You guys are cute. So you are funny. Oh, you're killing me. Okay, my, my sloth says way to go. I'm applauding you for the fun. You guys have been very funny uh, today. You've been very clever with your little... Come back. Very cute. Okay, we've got a few minutes left, so let's get started. We're going to draw the cup first. So draw two dots uh, for the cup that he's in, or the pot. And we're going to draw a four shortened circle. So let's just draw real light um, for this circle so we can put Groot in it. Okay, so we're going to draw, um, arch that, curve that over. And then we're going to curve this around around the front. Make sure your edges are curved. See this? I'm going to make sure they're curved. I don't want them to be sharp, pointy edges. This is going to be a cup, or let's say a pot. I'm going to call it a pot. He's in a little gardening pot so they can carry him around. Okay, yeah, this is the last drawing. We're running out of time, so let's um, let's get, get with the chit-chat and let's get to drawing. So on the sides, I'm going to pull down both sides, and we're going to start tapering these inward, okay? We're going to make this a cup, so it's going to come in like this. So decide how long you want or how deep you want your cup. Oh, a pot. It's a pot. Uh, and just draw that down. Once you decide how, how deep you want it, you're going to curve these edges and we're going to pull it down and curve it. Don't you dare go straight across. Your, your cup is not flat. Your pot is not flat. It is rounded. Okay, if you go straight across it's going to look really, really odd. So there, I like my shape. Doing good. So in this we're going to have Groot. So let's draw his little body in here. So it's going to be Two lines coming toward each other, and it's going to go just right above that back line. So grab your eraser and clean this part up. Get rid of that line because it's behind him, so we don't see it at all. So get rid of that. Good. We're there. Now for his head, let's pull that line. I just erased it. Oops. Okay, so for his head, I want to have it coming right here. Okay, so let's let's just sketch real really quick a little bit of a, a curved line right there. Everybody good with that? Now I'm going to block in his face how wide I want it. So I think I want it that wide. Yeah, I like that. So once I have that, let's join it down here, curve it in. Okay, curve. His, his face is like the U shape. See how it's a U? I always like to have a reference. When I'm drawing, I like to look at something and be able to copy it. If I can see it, I can pretty much draw it. Might not be as accurate as you want it to be, but I can draw it. So he's got that, that U shape. And then up top, we have to decide how tall, how high he goes up. So I'm going to just draw myself a little stopping point up there. Because his head doesn't, his head doesn't go straight across. See, we're going to add some angles and some depth to it. Very nice. You guys are doing excellent. 
This is good. You're going to make his head huge. Okay, that works. I like it. I like it. I'm going to have to see it, though. You know, I'm a visual. I like to see things. So we have the shape of his head. Awesome. Everybody ready? So up here, I'm going to pull it down on that side. And over here, I'm going to pull it down on this side. So this one is going to be a jagged edge. So I'm going to kind of make it um, squiggly. Okay. And then this side is going to be a sharp down. So he's just creating his, his um, roots up here, or his, um, oh, I don't know what you call them, his bark. So draw, when you draw, you can do a little bit of a wiggle in your, in your line. Now let's make this one coming down. Okay, and then let's go ahead and draw the line down there. And then this one is overlapping, so we're going to come up a little and down. Good. Now, not all of ours is going to look the same, because I would really like to see you guys um, do your own sharp edges, your details, and just have fun with this. Okay, so we've got some different shapes here. I'm going to clean up the area that I had my line right there. Good. Now, for these lines, you can just make some scratch lines coming down. That'll kind of give that illusion that the bark is on there. So far, so good. Everybody happy? Really nice. It's not bark. It's glute, glute bark. Ah, ha, ha. That's funny, Cody. Very funny. Very funny. So, for his eyes. Um, he's got them low on his face, and they're not really perfect circles. They're kind of droopy um, ovals is what I think they are. They're kind of droopy. So on both sides, um, kind of give those droopy look to it. Maybe a little um, indented line right there. Now, I did a lot of scribbling down here, so I'm going to clean it up. And then for my smile, I'm going to start under one eye and then make it over to the other. So I'm going to kind of give them a, a dip down, a little lip line, and then up. There we go. And for some reason, he's got these ovals right here under his eyes for little cheeks. So I say go for it, right? And then a little chin indent. This is looking cool. Let's go ahead and color these eyes in. Just color them in real dark. I'm leaving a little reflective dot on there, uh, right on that little spot on both eyes. Let's see if I did a good job because I didn't mark it. So my screen is just not happy today. So here we go. He's looking cute, looking like a little branch in a cup. How easily we can fall in love with things when we put cute eyes and a smile on it, right? My Groot looks creepy. Oh, no, I think he's so cute. What do you think? Huge, creepy. Okay, so where I've marked the neck, let's pull this line in. And on this side, let's pull this line in, kind of give an illusion of the neck. And then here, I want to pull it out to where we had it. So I'm going to erase this little line. So we're kind of using it as a guide, and then we're going to get rid of it. I hope you can't hear my dog scratching at the door. She thinks since I'm home, I need to be with her. So that noise is my dog. Okay, so then he has over here just a little um, branch or twig coming out over here. I totally forgot that part. There we go. And then off that, he's got a little bitty leaf. Ta-da! Yay! So for the cup, let's add our thickness back here. I keep calling it a cup. I'm just going to live with it. It's a cup. And then I'm going to shade in. Shading, shading. Let's do that. And darkest at the edge. Good. Everybody with me? Everybody doing a good job? Can't wait to see your art. 
Hope you are having a good Monday. Mondays are always hard to get started, right? But summer's coming. Summer is coming, right? Let's do it. I love summer. So for this little guy, we can add different textures, different um, wiggly lines on him, um, give him some darker spots, some lighter spots especially under his face. I need to darken in this line. So what you can do is, of course, add color. I know somebody's going to say it, add color. But I'm going to keep mine. And I'm just going to add some thickness to this outside line on his body so it's just more defined. OK? So then you can have fun adding some leaves up here that are starting to grow. So put some leaves up here. Can you see that? Totally I'm off the screen. So that gives him a little more um, personality. Like he's growing, right? And then shade where there's overlapping. Give that. And then you can have fun with your stomp when you're shading. Stomps are fun. I hope you all have one. I know one of you lost your stomps last time I was here. I hope you been able to find it since then. So down here on the pot, oh look at me, I finally called it a pot. I'm going to add some shading on this side opposite the light. And kind of give it the illusion that it's round, right? And then the closer to the center, it gets a little lighter. So I know some of you don't have a stomp, so I'm trying to show you how to do it without a stomp and just blend it with your finger, OK? So um, he no longer looks creepy. Yay! He's a cute little guy. So let's pull our shadow out here. And let's have the little shadow on the ground. Group's too far away. I'm not going to give him a shadow. So I'm going to darken this in, make it real dark, especially right under the Hot. We're going to make it real dark and lighter as it comes out. Awesome. Look at those, you guys. You didn't know you when you woke up this morning you were in a draw group. How exciting. And Princess Leia. We drew Princess Leia. Okay, so I'm going to take my stomp, start darkest, and go to light. Okay, go around the pot, make it look kind of like it's a circle, not flat. There we go. We're going to just add in our nice little details. We're going to clean this up, give them some shading, get some more texture. This is where you get to have fun, right? This is when I get quiet, right? Most of the time. With you guys, I'm not quiet ever. So I've been told. <laughs> OK, so I'm doing rush because I really want to spend some time Seeing your art, I love for you guys to come on the camera and let me see your art. So we're going to finish this up by giving him some, some more um, shading, some more bark. No jokes for Groot? Does anybody have a joke for the Groot? Anybody have a joke? Anybody seen this one? Let me zoom out. Here we go. There, Groot is a happy, happy twig in a pot, right? All right, well, here we are, guys. Did you have fun? Was good? Awesome.